Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And here we are with another build video, another Take It Up Chiliad video. And this one, we're, we're doing another meme car. Another, another car that I grabbed partially because of its own merits and partially because of its important to another channel here on YouTube. Yes, Ruffy1322 over on that channel and in that community you will find a great deal of affection for this car. And I'm trying to remember why. I mean, yeah, it's a nice little car. It has some pretty good customization for, you know, what it was back in the day. But, I mean, there was some stories to it. I can't remember if there was some cool stuff that went on with the multi-class uh, endurance championship, where there was stuff to happen in free mode, where amazing escapes were made in prairies. There's some story with it. I have to, I have to do more research. But for right now, I just want to build this car up. And I want to do it in Bruffy colors. And if I can figure out my, what I recall was the original Bruffy orange. And I think I might I might have done this. I'm voicing this over afterwards. I think I might have done this in almost in the old do everything to the put the most expensive bits on for everything. But I don't, maybe not. Because here I'm carefully considering the chin. I might end up with the Mark III tuner bumper kit, but we'll see. Get the clean look. The big mouth look. The smiley look. The stock look. That is a happy look. Is that what I went for? I'm dwelling on it. Oh, hit the button already. You know you're going to go for it. There we go. Not as many options in the back. I mean, the car itself is based on a much beloved car that people have tuned up for ages. So I, I understand part of the love for it. A lot of people have a lot of nostalgic and, and good time feelings for the Celica, but not me personally. I've never, I've never owned one. I'm not lucky enough to have owned a Celica. Maybe I should look for a Celica. Is the gas mileage good enough to get back and forth? That's a whole other conversation at some point here. We're gonna give it the orange lights. We're going the full, bruffy orange and purple. I wonder if I change these to purple at some point. And that's, of course, just based on his websites and stuff like that and his, his themes. I'm staring here at, at, the, at the yellow. Do I go for... I, I, I backed off. Uh, let's, let's just see what we end up doing. Before we commit to the really expensive headlights. And it's really funny because as I'm looking at it, I f almost feel like I would do it, do it differently than what I did there. You know, you never know. I'm willing to bet I back out of the results altogether. I don't remember what I did. I don't remember how this, what this car looks like. Honestly, in my garage right now, I do not know what it looks like. Back that all together. Go to respray. Couldn't visualize it. I can visualize this because I've had a theory about the official color Bruffy Orange, which I don't even think Bruffy uses anymore. And that was Sunset Red with a pearlescent of Sunrise Orange. So Sunrise over Sunset, which I think comes pretty close to the way Bruffy used to paint all of his cars in his early testing videos. And I tell you, I do think some some of the cars, those cars I look at, looks like they have a brighter, you know, a brighter, maybe a gold or a, a yellow kind of pearlescent on them. They might be, you know, bruffy. That might not be quite bruffy orange. Like, there's bright orange. Is that more like it? Maybe. You know, you'd have to go back to a lot of old videos. I 
That's what I went with. I, w I would have thought I would have kept it as uh, Sunrise Over Sunset. That's what I've done now. Hey, you see, it's like you're, you're a different person when you're watching it in the future. Either one is pretty close to Bruffy Orange, but, you know, I, I, I have a, a sentimental attachment to Sunrise Over Sunset. Might respray re it. We don't know yet. Speed striped, black flames, prairie. Hmm. There's a lot of good looks here. Including that one. What did I go with? I don't even remember. Oh, retro graphics. Okay, just the word prairie. The stripe down the top. And let's see. Let me guess. I'm going for all purple highlights now. You don't get a secondary color on this. I dwell on it forever because it's $55,000 for headlights. You know, the Arena War DLC it was just it was just obscene as far as the cost of everything. Even the lights. There you got your purple. Let's see, skirts. Custom skirt one, that does look good. I think I actually went for custom skirt one because it was the deepest of those and kind of followed the lines a lot better. Front to back. A little spoiler. What did I do here? Literally, yeah, it's been a couple weeks. I don't remember what did, did I go a little bit crazier with this? To match the front. That's for a more aggressive build. I normally don't do that, but in this case, you know, I did because it's just I'm going for a look. And it's not like I'm going to have to worry about racing this. Oh, wait a minute. Did I, break, did I break down and go back for the whole weight transfer kind of thing? So it wouldn't be... No, I thought about it, though. I agonized. Let's see. Spoiler. So we slam it down. Rev up the transmission. I mean, this thing needs all the help we can get. You're going to see when we pull this thing out. Not, not a barnstormer. Do I go off-road just for the tradition of it all? I did. That's what I, I remember. I'll actually remember what I did with these. You'll see me dither about with the color, but I end up with going with a deep purple. I think. Concave Rally Masters or Rugged Snowflakes? I always had a, a place in my heart for the Concave Rally Master. I have a weakness for it. What color? Initially I think it went black. Or carbon black. They switched those back to purple? I think later on I switched them back to purple. Purple smoke going. Light smoke on the windows. Did I not recant and go back with purple on the wheels? I mean, the black flows well, the striping. Here comes the thaw. All right, here we go. Do I go with a bright purple or a... Uh, oh, there's a bright orange. Purple, you need more purple. Come on, I know what I do. There it is, the slate blue. You know, slate blue actually would be a really good 
color for another build that I have that you can't really get in the main... Okay, that's a whole other conversation. Midnight purple. It looks like black, but it's purple. So that's the, that's the best of all worlds, right? Yeah, I, custom, I don't think I put custom tires on it. It's bulletproof. To, that is the look. Exit the arena. Now we take this puppy out for a spin. Blazing acceleration. Just blazing. Can I get this up to enough speed to do a handbrake spin out? Did I even try? Okay, I was just looking at what the blue, blue dot was. Wow, nope, there really wasn't any kind of handbrake spin out kind of, no. All right, we gotta take this up. Shall we? Uh, duh. Again, I'm watching with you. I don't remember. I know I do it, but I remember. How do we get up there? Does it, does it go up the hot lap, or do we have to take it around the back way? Kind of hard to say. We're gonna do it on a bright, and, a bright day. So you can see the pearlescence working. You know. It's, I'm not sure that I want to launch this job on my own. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how it goes a lot of times. And there it is. The custom prairie. Carbon hood and all. Okay, can we make it across the river in one shot? Or will it go for a swim? Swimming! I missed that by about 10 feet, the, the launch point. And here comes the train again. Here comes the train again. Okay. So this time we got the good kick point there to get us to the flat spot. Does not like bushes. The bushes have been made much more strong. One of the recent updates, I forget. Which one. Oh, we actually beat the train! It is with some surprise, I tell you, I beat the train. I did not expect to beat the train out of that. purple. We'll see the purple light up in the tunnels. Purple. Not, not the zippy car. You don't get the impression like, well, I hope this doesn't get it. I hope this car doesn't get away from me, you know? And we did up the hill with not a lot of momentum, but enough enough control, I guess. And immediately Oh, immediately we're set upon by I mean front wheel drive should be good. Right? Oh, this is not going well. The weight's all shifting. It's taking it off of the... Oh, no. Not even close. Oh, the prairie. Though you are much beloved by the, the channel of G-Freds. You are not a G-Fred car. Not even in fully upgraded mode. All right, but if you're stuck with it, is there a path? Is there a way? Can we find the way? Can we 
find the way to Zena, I'm saying. We're still looking for the way. Right now we're going the wrong way. Roughly the right way. Okay. The paint looks nice. Would I have preferred it though with the sun sunrise over sunset? A little less glare. A little more subtle. Perhaps not true gruffy orange. That's that's getting into a philosophical thing. I don't no one really knows what Ruffy Orange is. At least no you know, it, that that inner circle is a, one I'm not a part of. Oh no. Is this a complete Chiliad failure? Can't even go up the up the path? Complete Chiliad failure. I'm not gonna give up that easily, right? We're just gonna I got a little bit further that time, but no. Oh it's a Chiliad disaster. There may be another path somewhere, but I think uh, there's a very good chance that this is very soon, whatever we call it. I don't remember waiting for the train to hit. That's apparently what I did. Didn't make it. It suffered the consequences. That was cold. That was a cold, cold thing. Ooh, look at it. It's not gonna run better now. I mean, the fact that it runs at all is impressive. What am I doing? Just wait for another train? I don't remember being this disgusted. Like, I literally don't remember being that ticked off. I mean, did I really expect the prairie to go up the hill? A few moments later. Oh, I stopped standing on it for a little while. I'm back up now. I still think there's a train. Apparently this isn't going to be the standard ending for one of my build videos. Oh, here it comes. And I guess I should say, you know, something like the effect of, on this note, ladies and gentlemen. This is your Black Knight. We apparently couldn't jump out of the way of the train in time. And because I died, it reset the car. Stop the blinking. Where you, do you go? Make it get out of the ghost. That hurts. <sighs> As I said before, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.